Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the R language in Google Colab. Google Colab is known for using Python, Python notebooks, Jupyter notebooks, but you can also use R. It's like a bit of a hidden feature, but it has the full capabilities of the whole R language. To activate or use an R Google Colab notebook, just Serve through this URL, colib.to slash r, which is basically a refer to this um, URL, colab research at google.com slash notebook create equals true language equals r. So let's just go ahead and open a browser and go to colab.to slash r. You have to be logged in into your Google account and then Colab will open a new notebook. It looks just like a, a regular Python Jupyter notebook, but we are in the R environment. For instance, let's um, include a library from R, the Chplot library, uh, well known for plotting. And you can also install packages just as you would do in your regular uh, our environment, for instance, tidyverse or something like this. This is also possible. Um, and we can now, let's say, let's just create some variables and I'm going to show you how uh, this will look uh, if we're going to plot this in R. So I want to create a normally distributed variable with 100 samples and let's say another one which is basically dependent on the first one. So y is just a sum of a another <laughs> random uh, normal distributed variable and x. And let's say we create a group variable, just pull a sample of a vector of red and blue as a group variable. We do this 100 times. And of course, we have to replace every item. So we will now have three variables. You could just go ahead and just plot x against y just to check out how it looks. So let me start this. It's going to take some time. I'm going to hit pause. So the library is loaded and also this package is installed. I'm not going to use it now, but just to show that this is you, you're able to do that. And then just check out our plot. We have a nice scatter plot. And now we can also use the Chi Chi plot library to, oh no, we have to create a data frame first. Just give me a sec, create a data frame, data dot frame and x is x, y is y, and we will have a group variable, which is z. Okay, and now we are going to plot this data frame x and y. Um, and of course, x is x, y is y. And we are going to color the points by our imaginary group variable. And I want to have a scatter plot with points. So um point and as you can see, so this is your regular R environment. You can use all the libraries, everything you want to do. In some spaces, R has much more convenient uh, libraries and packages than Python, NumPy or Pandas. So um, this is a very good way to use R in Google Colab because now you can send this to colleagues, friends, you can work together on one notebook. It's not as convenient as R Studio, in my opinion, because you don't have the overview of your global environment, your data frames, your variables, your functions, um, but it's a good way to, to code R. Um, so go ahead, have fun, bye bye.